So today I'm going to show you about facial proportions and I don't have a skull but I have a photograph that I can show you of a pretty typical person and I want to show you that if I measure from the top of her skull zero centimeters to the bottom of her skull it's almost five and a quarter centimeters you can see that her eyes are at about two and three quarter centimeters so almost halfway down her face and you can see that almost everything in that case is in the bottom triangle of her face. In this picture, the person's head is tilted down a bit, so it's a little harder to see because with the tilting down, you do change the angle. But if we go to the top of her skull to her chin, you can see that from zero, it's about almost 11 and a half. And you can see that her eyes are just over six. So eyes are halfway down the head. But we often draw people as if they're much more important and larger than they are. And even when somebody's head is turned, here we have somebody that the head is about 12 and a, a, 12 and a half again. And the eyes in this case are at seven but the head is a bit tilted and that does change things. I think, do I have one more I can show you? We can see. And usually in class, I'll have you measure each other. Now here we can't get to the bottom of her chin. Her head starts here. Her chin is probably around here, I would say. So she goes to about seven and a half centimeters and the eyes are at about three and a half. So I'm going to show you how we can draw a person and respect proportions. So we're going to start by just doing an egg. Everybody can draw an egg and there's some, just some simple basic shapes. So you're going to follow along with me and draw an egg on your paper with the top part of the head being the wide part of the egg and the small narrower part being the bottom of the egg. So you're going to start with that. That's one shape we're going to draw. We're also going to draw an almond. We're going to draw a comma and a parenthesis. These are the main shapes that we're going to need to do what we're doing today. So parenthesis, a comma, an almond, and an egg. So you're going to follow along with me. So you're going to draw an egg, and if the video needs to be paused, that's fine. And then you're going to take a ruler, and you're going to draw a line right down the middle of the egg. Okay, so we have our egg. We're going to draw a line down the center of it, which is approximately here. And we're going to draw a line across the middle, which is approximately at about 10 and a half. And we could draw the line by doing a dotted line or drawing. You can see I drew it very lightly. It's just barely visible because I'm going to erase it later. So as we saw by looking at the photographs, everything, everything fits below in this triangle. Seems hard to imagine, but that is in fact the case. Everything fits in this triangle. So one thing about eyes is we know that we can fit, if we, these are really small to measure, but if we measure an eye, this eye is slightly less than a centimeter. The space between the eyes is slightly less than a centimeter and the eye is again, slightly less than a centimeter. So there's always an eye's length between the eyes. So I'm, I'm gonna guess, I'll make an eye, an almond, this shape, and let's see how long it is. So it's about three centimeters. So I should leave about three centimeters. You won't normally work with a ruler. You're just gonna, you know, you're gonna figure it out as you go, but just to give you an idea. And normally we can fit, look, see, three centimeters. We can fit five eyes in our face. There should be, if I did this right, three centimeters. So three, three, three. That's because this particular egg is the size that it is. But we can fit three, uh, five eyes across and there's one eye's length in the middle. Now we can measure halfway between the eyes and the chin. And in this case, it's uh, 10 and a half centimeters. And so we can go to, oh, my math is so bad, around five and a half. Now that makes it 11 around five and a quarter. And that actually would be where your nose is. Your nose is halfway between your eyes and your chin. So I'm just gonna draw a line there as a placeholder. 
Now the edges of your nose, your nostrils, actually usually line up with the corner of your eyes. So I can draw another line there to know where my nostrils are gonna be. And then your mouth is again about halfway down between the chin and the nose. In that approximately, it's not the same for everybody. And if we put in your, your pupils, the mouth goes, usually the end of the mouth goes to the center of the eye. Okay, this is just when a person's looking straight on at you. If they're, you know, as soon as the angle changes, the measurements will change a bit and they vary from person to person and toddlers have very big heads, but most people will fit in this. So remember I said we were gonna draw parentheses? Here's the parentheses, one here, one here, one here. And then you just connect the dot you put here, the dot you put here, and there's a basic mouth. Obviously not everybody has the same mouth. You can put a parenthesis here to sort of outline the chin. You can do this here to give that line between your mouth and your nose. You could put a parenthesis here because really noses are not flat. And here comes your first comma. Comma, comma. When you color them in, do another parenthesis and another parenthesis. You know, your nose is normally narrower at the top and wider at the bottom. So at the end, once we have everything we want in the right place, we can erase that third eye in the middle. We can erase all of these guidelines we didn't need. And we have a person that looks, starting to look like a person and not an alien, but missing eyebrows. And you may still think, well, that head looks way too big. But once we add the hair, and you know, we can give this person two different hairstyles. We can do this on this side, and we could, uh, we can give them curly hair on this side. It's the skull, all your brains, all your gray matter is up here. You need a lot of space for your big brains. So the skull is very big and the eyes are pretty far down. We can add eyebrows, you know, maybe they, this one has this kind of an eyebrow and maybe this one has this kind of an eyebrow. Everybody's different. Maybe this one has deep, big eyelids. And you can see the whole pupil, but you can't usually see the whole iris because it actually goes behind the eyelid. If you look at each other, if you stop the video and look at each other, you'll see that your top lid covers the top of your iris, which is the colored part. Not the pupil, not the part you look out of, but the part that is colored. And you know, each person is a little bit different, but normally you won't see the top of the iris. And you have these two little triangles on each side of white, but everybody looks a little different. Maybe this person has eye bags. Maybe they're an old person like me uh, and they have wrinkles, you know? You can make them look different. Maybe they have curly hair and wrinkles on this side. And this is maybe that when they were younger, maybe they straightened their hair. And if you're drawing a man, usually you will make this egg a bit wider on the bottom you can add facial hair if you're making a man. You know, you can make the jaw wider. And what did I leave out? This person's missing something. Have you figured out what I didn't draw yet? Ears. So ears go from about here, from around your eye, and you can look at each other and check that, and they actually go all the way down to the nose. We tend to draw them much smaller than they really are, but they're pretty big. Um, and depending on the hairstyle, you know, maybe you won't, maybe you don't, you won't see the eyes, the ears, I should say. And, you know, some people have bigger lobes and maybe they have earrings. Some people have smaller lobes, but the ears generally go to your nose, to your eyes. Some people, the lobes are shorter and they might stop above the nose. And some people have bigger ears and they might go below the nose, but that's the, they always start at around the top of your, or the